Hey folks, it's your girl here, Tanisha, and today is my birthday, so happy birthday to me. I'm excited, 32 years old, but the grind don't stop. I ain't on vacation because it's my birthday. Gotta keep working, right? So what now? What I'm doing now is sending out some tea. I'm sending out some NRG pills. I'm making some appointments for me and my daughter, uh, you know, for the doctor. And I'm also getting ready for a trip that me and my husband is going on. Now, I love my husband. He is like the bomb, okay? He's like the bomb diggity. Like, he does literally things that blows my mind every time. I love him. He doesn't ask for much. The only thing he asks is that I be faithful and I'm here for him and that I take care of his kids. So, that's my job. That's what I got to do, guys, right? So, but guys, I just want to talk to you really, really, really quick. And tell you about when you're starting a business, right? And you have a business, uh, you know, never, never, ever operate in your name, guys. Because what happens is the IRS want their money. And if you cannot show how you have been in business for yourself and have an EIN number or a business certificate with a business bank account or your PayPal information, guys, the business, I mean, the uh, IRS will definitely come after you, guys. $20,000 that the IRS wants from me, literally, you know, and I had to go foul that, that tax, uh, you know, that I got the money, I had to foul taxes on that money. And, you know, once I did now, of course, it's actually better because now I'm operating in a business and not in my name, guys. So that's like business one-on-one. Once you get in business, make sure you get a uh, a business certificate, EIN number, uh, you know, or doing business as number so that you can be official, right? That's business 101, guys. Being a business owner, having yourself an entity, having yourself an EIN number, guys, not operating out of your social. A lot of people that are millionaires, guys, they're millionaires in their business, but they're broke on paper because their social don't show nothing, okay? But, guys, I'm educating you here. This is free advice that people charge thousands of dollars for, okay? So you're getting this for free, business one-on-one, guys. Have your own entity. Set you up a business if you decide that you truly. But this is only for people that's saying they truly, truly want to start an internet marketing business or network marketing business. People will tell you, oh, you don't have to, uh, you know, get uh, your name. Uh, you don't have to get an EIN or you don't have to get a business name for MLM company. MLM is a business that the MLM company files taxes and when your name pop up and you made money and your name pops up on that MLM sheet when they're filing their taxes, guess who, guess what? <laughs> the IRS going to come after you, especially if you made over $600. Especially if you made over $600 in that company, guys. So don't sleep. You know what I'm saying? And don't not sleep. IRS will come after you. They do not play. They don't care how small, how large. IRS will come after you, guys. So that is business 101. Get you an entity. Do not do like me where I was operating out of my name and the government, you know, got me for $20,000. No. You don't want that, guys. You want to be able to get you a business as an entity and operating as a business. Why not? Makes no sense. Get you a business. Get you a, a business name. Make up a business name. Anything. Right? Make up anything, guys. Hello? Hi. Is this, uh, yes, who's speaking? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Hold, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, guys, so this is a customer, actually, that wants some tea, and I'm definitely going to meet up with her and go give her some tea. But, guys, make sure you get that business entity, guys. You can go to Courthouse, file it, get you a free EIN number, go file. It's like 100 bucks, guys. Make sure you get to be official, guys. This is Tanisha. I work with Tanisha.com. Happy birthday to me, guys. Enjoy your day.